Good morning everybody, this is Jean here, Jean True Love from True Love Quotes For You. I am coming to you from my little back porch, not our front porch, not our side porch, um, of our new home, um, our actually our old home, the home we live in now that we've just moved to is 112 years old. Um, if you're new to my channel, which actually I know quite a few are, a real, real quick rundown. I am waiting for my friend Jen um, and your friend Jen out in YouTube land. Our friends know who our Jen is, uh, my dearest friend of many, 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 many decades. Um, she's coming for lunch a little bit later, but I just thought I'd just fill you in a little bit. Again, if, excuse me, again, if you're new here, um, we have moved into this home on, as of May the 1st. We had settlement on uh, April 27th, but it's taking us um, a little bit of time to move in piece by piece. Um, as you can hear, probably, we this house is on a busy road out front but the back is just glorious, which I have shown you pictures of, but I'll show you a few more pictures of. What I'm going to be showing you today after I, I chat with Jen, just for a few moments, is um, some of the work, some of the, uh, the uh, rooms that we have done already. Not a tremendous amount. We've done our front room and our foyer. Um, we're still working on the family room. That's all in the kitchen. That's all that's downstairs. And there's four bedrooms up. Um, and then Maxwell's apartment on the third floor. Um, coming to our Maxwell, Maxwell's our 21 year old son who's autistic, but he is doing absolutely marvelously. I know a lot of you were worried about him. We were worried about him um, because um, if you don't know, we had uh, survived a natural disaster back in September and we lost our home. Um, most of our, a lot of our possessions um, with a, from a tornado, hurricane and intense flooding, flash flooding on September 1st here in the Pennsylvania area. We became instantly houseless. <laughs> we weren't homeless. Um, we had graciously been accepted to live with our son in his lovely little basement apartment. We lived there for nine months and then after we regrouped um, and after we caught our breath, we then began the process of um, buying a home for ourselves. Uh, and as you know, we have 10 children and they have made this home buying process possible for us to own this home. Very, very kind, very generous. You'll see that on my previous videos. Um, we are trying to get settled, which we are. Um, it's a tremendous amount of work, especially my sewing area. We have four bedrooms here on the uh, first floor or in the second floor. Um, two of them are the master bedroom and then a guest room office and then two two smaller rooms for my sewing room. I'm just going to be putting up snippets of my little sewing room so far. Um, Ian is working on the blue room that you'll see um, with shelving and everything for all of my fabric. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to get all my fabric that I had in my massively huge sewing studio in our last home, um, but we're building shelves and there's cubbies and all sorts of buildings. Um, we only have one small area finished right now. Um, so I'm going to be putting pictures up of a little bit here and a little bit there to do because people are saying, you know, oh, I want to see your home. You've seen the outside of it and you've seen the garden. Um, we have um, perhaps not even amazed like that the fact that our belongings that we have left, our furniture and our pictures and our lamps, they were waiting for this home. <laughs> I, can't, I can't begin to tell you that. We had our family home of 30 years um, and it was just brilliant. It really was where we raised our 10 children. Um, and we had all of these things I've been collecting for over 50 years. My husband and I have been married 41 years. Everything we owned in the house we lived in and then our temporary house or our what was a temporary home that we just came from, um, it fits so much better in this home. It was as if, uh, I don't know, as I keep saying, it was the house was waiting for us. If, as, as silly as that sounds, um, we went through a couple of really, 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 really terrible years um, of, of, of uh, depression and loss and anxiety and uncertainty. Um, but we really did trust in our God Jehovah and the prayers that went up um, and we were just patient. We were just patient and um, 
and and we've been blessed I keep saying that you'll get sick of me hearing saying that we've been blessed absolutely beyond um, I, it was as if I was born per particularly in the wrong generation because our one son they all came here they all were helping and they came and our one said uh, mom this is a nana and granddad house it's um, old-fashioned I like as you will see I like a lot of things and I like a lot of old things um, we've we've been collecting for years and it's, it's I've, everything we've all come home and it's just been the reward has just been so absolutely wonderful so I'm going to talk a little bit with Jen and then I as I said I will be putting up some pictures of um, here and there of what we've done so far um, as I was saying that we are on a busy road here out front but out back here it's just delightful it's just so pretty we sit here in our little back porch um, and again, Maxwell is enjoying mowing our lawn. We have just a manageable, manageable little yard here, but then we have the benefit of looking out to, oh, I don't know, 30 acres of um, farmland uh, out back. Or not farmland, but like um, a beautiful red barn, which um, I'll show you pictures of. It's just so pretty. It really, really is pretty. We've, we live in an area that I'm, even though it's only 20 minutes away, or half hour away from where we were, um, I'm not familiar with this area, so Maxwell and I have been exploring a little bit. And <laughs> I'm like, the first thing, where's the Walmart? <laughs> and where's the supermarket? Where's the Kohl's? We're in America here. Um, the Walmart is 18 minutes away. Uh, the bank and the pharmacy, uh, the McDonald's, and a very nice supermarket is nine minutes away. We found that on the map. Um, sort of like two roads away. Very, very, very um, direct way. As I said, we live on a busy road, um, not a not a highway, but a, a, a major road. Um, and that takes us everywhere very quickly. So um, we are busy exploring and we're realizing that the country here is just so very beautiful, very manicured gardens, very manicured lawns. I'm so glad we have, I'm so glad Maxwell rescued our lawnmower. You know that story from out of the tornado, out of the flood. Max, Maxwell rescued our lawnmower because um, we're really keeping this area pristine and um, taking care of everything. So, so lovely. Um, so anyway, I'm waiting for my friend Jen. She's gonna, she's gonna pop in and say hello. We're gonna have lunch and, and have a good old chin wag. And um, we and you can say hello to our Jen. She's been a doll. She was here before. All of our children have been. Um, and as I just say, um, I will be getting back into sewing and quilting as soon as possible. As you can understand, the last several years have been topsy turvy. My quilting, my sewing, my whole channel went a bit awry because I didn't know if I was coming or going. But I will be getting back into that um, soon. So, stay tuned. My friend Jen will be here next. So here's my friend Jen. She came to visit. Hi. So what do you think? I love it. <laughs> I love it. It's so beautiful. Jen's, our, Jen's been here before helping me and helping us. Um, you bought some more things back that were in your that were in your attic. Your quilts. My quilts. Some of my quilts that were stored in Jen's attic. Yeah. I have them all now. Yeah. Yep. You yeah, have I have them all now. Yep. And Malia's wedding dress you bought yeah. back and her, her cloak. Um, they were stored in your attic for yeah. ages and ago. And thankfully they weren't in the basement of where you were, right? We thought that so many of my travel pillows and so many of my quilts, uh, well, no, not the quilts, but the travel pillows were stored in the basement of our house that flooded. It got seven foot of water in it and everything yeah. was destroyed. And we had, when we moved, when we moved from our family home two and a half years ago, we didn't have room in our new house yeah. uh, that we, that was, uh, the disaster happened so we put stuff in Jen's attic. Yeah, I'm like, like a, I don't have anything in my attic and I had I there was know. a cedar closet there There's and a I cedar said, closet. Why don't you put your quilts in the cedar closet? And my sewing and, machines. And your sewing machine? Yeah, they were they were safe they were safe because I had a few I had yeah. a few sewing machines. So we got the stuff back. Yeah. So thank you so much. And now Jen. you have it in your new house. In our new house. And what do you think of our new house? I love it. I love it. <laughs> what do you think it. of the colors? So this, this is, is so funny. This must be an old house thing because I have an old house too. And when I moved in three years ago, all my rooms were painted yellow and they're all yellow here. No red. Every room is painted yellow. Yep. We are, or I'm certainly not a yellow person. Yeah, I'm not either, but I love the wall color of that. It's so, 
Uh, we have two shades of yellow um, in, in the downstairs, which I'll show you. The front room is like a, a, a more darky gold with a foyer, yeah. like a goldy yellow. And then the family room is a paler yellow. The yeah. kitchen is a pale yellow. And everybody's like, oh, you're going to have a red kitchen. I've always had a red kitchen. I'm keeping it because uh, somebody had commented about, like, am I going to have a red kitchen? I'm, I'm, I have tons of red accessories, but they go so pretty with the yellow. They do. And at this point, we're not inclined to paint. Yeah. <laughs> we just want to. We're too tired, to, right? We're too tired. <laughs> we wanted to move in. Everything's fine. We've always, 41 years, I've always had a pink bedroom. I don't love the yellow bedroom. Okay. Because I have the pink quilt. Right. I right. have pink and white. It's time new. to make a new quilt. Uh, <laughs> I know. <laughs> Ian said that. Ian said that. Um, I'll see about that. But like as of now, you have a yellow bedroom. I do. Yeah. It's yeah. Yellow, bed, yellow bedroom, yellow kitchen, yellow living room. Isn't that something? Yeah. It's so strange. And it's funny when you... I would never think to paint a wall yellow, but whatever you hang on, it really pops. It, it really does. The, the artwork, the frames, like we both like the, the metal, yeah. like gold and silvery, yeah. like really detailed yeah. frames, and it really pops on it, a yellow wall. It really wall. does. You'll see yeah. the pictures. I mean, Free. the foil from, and as I was saying before in my little introduction, everything we have, you've just seen it, it like goes perfectly yeah. with this yellow house, except two rooms, the guest room's uh, office and the my one fabric room is are blue okay um and the, the one room that i i'm going to show ian's starting to put shelves up has the clouds okay those yeah. strange yeah. sort of clouds what did you say so in <laughs> jean's old first original house charter road um she in her dining room she had painted clouds on the ceiling and she had this artwork of like her children and it looked like they were peeking out of the clouds some of them niles and yep. the, the, maxwell the, and malia the um four and elliot right? yes the no the, the six younger children the six, six older children were in a beautiful frame the four younger children were sort of paint were sort of like angels peeking out from the clouds there were photographs i actually yeah. took but they were like 25 years 20 30 years ago i act before digital cameras i took a picture of the kids i'm like hang over the balcony i took a picture and i cut them out had to get them developed and they were in the clouds but i liked those clouds yeah these are the, the house that was the, the house here they're just sort of they're sort of goofy looking clouds okay. they're sort of white it was funny when i saw them i go you can put <laughs> all the grandchildren oh oh yeah oh, that would be so fun because the gentle, be fun. the gentleman who had this house um he was a single a single older man who owned this house and his granddaughter used to come so the room that's going to be my fabric storage room has these clouds and this funky blue and pink and it's oh we're keeping it we're keeping it it's it's lovely so i thought they're they're sort of um comical looking clouds so okay. but then then we were saying maybe we'll put 19 grandchildren up on the so out of bed. but um yeah it's 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 awesome so we're i'm going to be working on the two rooms um for my sewing that i'll, I'll show jen in a minute i, I haven't yeah. gotten an awfully lot done but um it looks like you got a lot uh, yeah done. <laughs> actually uh, actually i haven't gotten a lot done up well in the i was here what two week ago two a weeks week ago, ago yeah we yeah and uh, like all these yeah. pictures are on the wall i'm like oh my word <laughs> and it's so funny because uh, you know me and my pictures I, and the yellow walls were bothering me yeah they they really were it got to the point so i said but i really really thought about where i'm going to hang the pictures yeah. oh they're beautiful um oh and with the family room which i won't show right now just snippets of it um I had hung some pictures, but if you remember, I had uh, my mural that was at the top of yeah. in, in our in our, um, our original home, and then in the last house, we have a hand painted mural which takes about oh, listen to that about 24 feet um, with my turtles in the houses. Yeah. So that that is coming. That is going to be in this family room, but we have to get it down. We have to. We need scaffolding in that in the okay. other house. The other house that we lived in that was hit by the tornado is being worked on right now. Okay. Um, all of the, it's very sad. Oh, it's so sad. All of the brickwork has been taken off because they have to deconstruct the home in order for it to be raised. Okay. Um, the, the engineering company is coming in, uh, drill big holes in it, put I-beams. Wow. 50 foot I-beams oh, wow. and raise the whole thing nine foot in the air. Oh, wow. So the whole property now is is a mess. It was a mess. It was very, very sad. I don't like going back there. Um, but 
we have we still have things sort of there um you have our big chandelier yes yeah yeah you have the crystals I actually have the crystals I don't have the chandelier. the chandelier frame it's yeah. massive I don't think there's any room for it here that was in our original dining room I know the <laughs> there's a ceiling fan right above us well, no, like, ooh, no we you know what Ian place. said Ian said let me let's put it in a stairwell where you put Maxwell's Hot Wheel wall ah. that stairwell up to the third floor okay the thing is and I said I wouldn't do that to you we could hang it there yeah we would need scaffolding uh, seriously yeah yeah because it's a stairwell it's a stairwell it's so high to put the yeah. crystals on yeah true and we took them off yes and that took us what two three hours yeah to yeah. map out this is a massive beautiful crystal chandelier yeah. you still have the crystals I said I'm not gonna risk yeah I'm not gonna risk our life literally we would be climbing up scaffolding to try to put this thing together yeah so I don't know what we're gonna do with that I don't know what we're gonna do with that yeah. um, that's at my that's at the other house um, but w most everything that we have here is has fit yeah it fits beautifully great. It's, it's fits really really well I showed you the last video of getting the bed up through the window um, as I was saying before Maxwell is having a ball you know cutting the grass nice so you got happy. your mower here we got, yeah, we got our mower here um our weed whacker and everything okay. we're not gardeners and Jen, but they have food I, here i know jen just said that i'm like what what you said that's a lilac i think that's a lilac bush which that's not food but next to it you have raspberries i know we that's have broccoli i'm pretty sure that yellow flower i know jen um, we're not gardeners. Yeah, they have like vegetables in their yard. I know, I know. I know. She might get into it. Maybe I'll get into it. Yeah. Maybe I'll get into it. Anyway, so that's anyway, that. that's that. Thank you so much. I'm going to be putting pictures up. Jen's going to come much later, I'm sure. Um, we'll be together and chat about other things. Sewing, maybe. Yeah. You made, you made a quilt. I've made a couple of quilts. Yes. I made a baby quilt that was a fox. Oh. And then, uh, so our friend Sarika, yes, I yeah, did yeah, this yeah. really like bright. Oh, it's awesome! Quilt for I her. saw that. And um, what else? Did I, I did one other. I feel like no, maybe that was it. But they're, they're on my Instagram. Yeah. Quilts by Jen. Quilts by Jen Isn't on it? Instagram. Yeah, by Jen. I saw them. Yeah. Oh my god, my goodness, that yeah. was awesome. Yeah. So look up on Instagram, Quilts by Jen. You've really become prolific. I, it's uh, you know. <clears throat> It's funny, I don't do it for a while and then I sit down to do it and I like pop a quilt out and I'm like, oh, I <laughs> well, you do so now. You do things so good. <laughs> so anyway, anyway folks, thank you so much. It's been lovely having to we're gonna go have a cup of tea and have lunch mm -hmm. and um have a chat and uh, we just wanted to say hello and we will be back. Hopefully I'll be showing you some more things with my sewing room, getting things in order there. Um, Maxwell and Ian say hello. They know I was going to be filming today. And um, thank you for all of your support and all of your prayers. It's really been wonderful. Thanks a lot, everybody. Bye. Love from the true loves. Bye.